Hey Nathan here and welcome back to another Tower Defense Engine tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to discuss the wave information and we're going to fill in the draw method. So we're getting close to the final few tutorials here. So I hope you enjoy this series and at the very end of the engine series I'll kind of discuss the looking back at the series and uh, it'll be another additional video that I can discuss. Alright, so let's go ahead and fill in the draw method here. So go ahead and delete that comment. Now the update method will remain blank. I have not filled in that method yet. I left it there for just in case sort of thing. In case we ever do need it. But for right now it's completely blank. So you can just go ahead and ignore it. Alright, so first thing we need to do is we need to draw the background of our wave information bar. So, spritebatch.draw our background, comma rectangle, comma color dot white. So we draw our background of our wave information bar. If session dot map dot state is equal to map state active so we have an active wave occurring in our map state string active is equal to session dot map dot active wave dot to string so we get our active wave and our vector two Dimensions is equal to single equal to sprite font that measure strain open parentheses active closing parentheses and semicolon. And that actually needs to be font instead of sprite font. All right, so we get the dimensions the. Uh, how wide and how tall our string is by measuring it by using the sprite font that we pass in and then once we do that we need to draw the string so we call sprite batch dot draw string opening parentheses our font object comma our active string comma a new vector two opening parentheses rectangle dot left plus ten comma rectangle dot top closing parentheses comma uh, go ahead and press enter so it goes to a new line session dot map dot active wave dot boss wave Question mark space session dot map dot error color colon session dot map dot four color closing parentheses and semicolon. So at the very beginning of the series I mentioned a few user interface and it might have been when I was demonstrating the game. A boss wave will use the map's air color as its text. If it is not a boss wave, it will use the four color to identify, hey, this is your active wave. So we draw the string, and depending on if it's a boss wave or not, we change the color of our active wave. String waves left. So equal to string dot empty bool b is equal to false for each wave w in session dot map dot wave list if w is equal to session dot map dot active wave opening and closing curly bracket 
B is equal to true. And then we call continue. And continue will do the next iteration of our for each loop. Else, if B is equal to true, which you can just call if B, opening and closing curly bracket. Waves left plus equals string dot format. Opening parentheses, a double quote, semicolon, space, opening curly bracket zero, closing curly bracket, end the double quote, comma, w dot two string. Else, continue. Okay, so here we're just generating the wave le waves left string of that list. We're going to generate all of our waves left in using the waves title. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that for you right now. All right, so I started the game, and you'll see what it kind of looks like here. Five slow ants is the active wave because it's using the map's four color. So now the waves left, all the waves left, is being generated in what we're using the for each loop on the screen right now. If you look towards the bottom of the screen, the waves left plus equals string dot format, semicolon, bracket zero, bracket. That's what we're doing to generate the semicolon, five slow ants, semicolon, five slow ants, semicolon, 15 slow ants. That's all the same waves left string. So let me go ahead and close that out. So that's what this line is doing. It's generating that long string for all of our waves left to do. Once that's all done, once the for each loop is all done, we need to call sprite batch dot draw string opening parentheses our font object comma waves left comma new vector two opening parentheses rectangle dot left plus ten plus our current our dimensions for our active wave up top. Remember we set the dimensions up here. Dims dot x plus or I'm sorry, comma rectangle dot top closing parentheses, comma, press enter color dot white times zero point five F. 50% opacity, close in parentheses, and semicolon. All right, so we're drawing all of our waves left in white at 50% opacity. So it blends in with our background texture we chose for our wave information bar. So it's at rectangle.left plus 10 then we need to offset it by our dimensions.x and our dimensions are being set up at the top and that's our active waves dimensions and of course the y will be rectangle.top okay all this was wrapped in an if block now we need to make an else block Now all this will happen when we have an active wave. When we do not have an active wave, we have a wave five slow ants starts in seven seconds and then it will start to go down seven, six, five, and so on. So that's what this else block is going to take care of. If we're not in a active state it's in a wave delay state if we go back to the map the map states are wave delay active and finished so it's in a wave delay state we need to display that wave x starts in y seconds so string next wave is equal to string 
the format. Open in parentheses, double quote, wave. We want to display the quote, so we need to escape the double quote, and we escape that by using the backslash. So we escape the quote because we do want to display it. Uh, bracket zero, bracket, escape the quote again. Space starts in bracket one, bracket, space seconds. Period, end the double quote. Comma. This is the first object. Remember the bracket zero bracket and bracket one bracket are referring to objects we pass into the string dot format. So the first object belongs to the bracket zero bracket section here. Session dot map dot active wave dot two string. Comma. Let's go ahead and press the enter key. Now this is the second object, and that's the seconds, so we need to cast as an int our session.map.timer, end parentheses and semicolon. Sprite batch dot draw strain, our font object, our next wave strain object, new vector2 opening parentheses rectangle dot left plus 10 comma rectangle dot top closing parentheses semicolon session dot map dot four color closing parentheses and semicolon let's go ahead and save this class and that is it for the wave information class All right, so at least three tutorials left. Some of these might go, especially the command info bar. Look how many methods we need to do here, and they're not all small methods. So some of these might go into two or even three more parts. So assume at least three tutorials, probably four or five tutorials left. Uh, the map will be another big one, and that will be another one that goes into part 3 or 4. And then the map region, that's not really that complicated, so we might be able to do that in one video. Okay, so, we'll generate the map, we'll finish up all the UI regions, so we'll do map region, and then command info bar. And then we'll do the map class. And then that will be it for the tutorials, for the development. Now the final tutorial, after all that is done, I'll release a final tutorial discussing two ways to implement this engine in your game. And then another video will be released, kind of a looking back, kind of what I wish I did differently and kind of looking back on the videos in general. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next ones. That will be next weekend. Hopefully I'll get them all finished next weekend in addition to the two extra ones. And then that will be it for the series. The engine series. We'll still have the game series left to do. Uh, but since the engine takes care of 90% of the stuff the game series will probably be like five videos or so. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And uh, if you can, be sure to help me get more views on my videos. And stay tuned for the next final three classes. I hope to see you next time.